Hello, my name is Braden Neufer. I'm an undergraduate with Southern Utah University and I'm a biology education major. And this semester I'm taking entomology and was assigned to do a class research project involving insects. So when I was assigned that, I wanted to do something that would potentially benefit me in my future career. And so as I was thinking about it, I was thinking how amazing it was to go into lab and to be able to have all these hands-on experiences dealing with all these insects and identification and, you know, all those things. And I thought, you know, in my biology courses in high school, it was purely lecture-based. I'd never had any hands-on experiences in those biology classes. You know, I had a physics class where we kind of had some hands-on stuff. And I had a chemistry course where we watched the professor have hands-on experiences. And so I thought maybe I could use insects to get hands-on experiences for high school students. And so what I have here with me today is some Calisobrachus maculatus or bean beetles. And as you can see, they're, they're pretty small, they're very hardy, and they're very easy to maintain. You just literally all you need is these bean beetles or all you need is these beans and so this is what I ordered from California or sorry Carolina um, biological supplies they sent me this with a bag of beans and so far I've had them for over a month and I'm on the third generation so their life cycle is, is very quick um, and they actually have Mendelian um, genetics for body color. So what that means is that they have a black and a brown body color which one is dominant and one is recessive. And so you can you could provide many different kinds of lessons using these guys um, to help them understand genetics and evolution and breeding and and all those kinds of things that are necessary to understand it advance through the field of biology. And so then my next question is, is, is what, what would a teacher want f from this? Like, how could I make it as easy on the teacher as possible? And so what I developed was this right here. So this is a housing unit for these bean beetles. And it's extremely easy to make, and it could honestly be tailored to your custom dimensions that you wanted. So if you thought this was too big, we could, uh, I, I could modify this for you. Um, because um, I actually made this without completely understanding how big the beetles were. And so when I received the beetles, finally, I realized that this was actually quite large for what the beetles would need. But the idea is, is there's some plexiglass right here, and the plexiglass slides down that way um, so that you can access this area, which is where you'd house your test crosses, right? So there's some boxes inside of here, which would house your beetles that you're um, having, doing your test crossing and breeding and lessons and studying on genetics or what other else you can come up with. And then down here is where you could potentially just maintain a living population. So the idea is that here you would just have beetles living and breeding to continuously supply you with beetles for your test crosses. And so, and the nice thing about being able to have it down this way is that this area then becomes accessible without the bottom being exposed and you potentially losing some of your beetles. And I've made the background white so that you can easily observe the beetles through the plexiglass and the beetles will be very contrasted against the white background. And so you may, for whatever you might be studying, maybe you're studying the, the behavior of the insects. And so really, you would only need to be able to look through the plexiglass. You would never have to access the beetles themselves unless you were restoring or providing more beetles for them to munch on and um, complete their life cycle because they lay uh, an inseminated female lays one egg on a beet on a bean and then the larva burrows inside the bean 
and eats it and goes through its uh, metamorphosis and emerges as the beetle. And so the hopes is that, you know, for one initial uh, startup cost, a teacher could potentially have many years and hundreds, if not thousands, of lessons that provide students with an in-class, hands-on project uh, to help them understand biology, to help them understand insect morphology, to help them understand genetics, um, uh, inheritance, and all those kinds of things. And so I'm asking you to complete the survey following this video to see if it is potentially something that you would be interested in. Thank you.